Hello Europe, Zdrave Europa. Today's topic is Bulgaria and Christian Kostov with the song Beautiful Mess. Bulgaria started their Eurovision journey in 2005 and since then they've only gone to the finals two times in 2007 and 2016. Um, and I gotta say last year Paula Genova with If Love Was a Crime was my personal favorite. My personal favorite too, 100%. That was my favorite of the year. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't necessarily my like winning song, but that's different. So it was it was definitely the song that I listened to the most. And it was the underdog. Sure. I feel mm -hmm. like I've come to expect really good things from Bulgaria. That was mm -hmm. so amazing last year. Really Paula Genova was, she's amazing. I hope she's in Eurovision again. Me too. Oh. Um, so what was your word for this one? Uh, my word was convincing. Hmm. You know, uh, this just is one of those ballads that it could go either way. It's kind of on the verge of being generic because we have a lot of ballads this year. Um, but this one sticks out to me a bit because it is... It, the words, I feel like the way he sings them, he has a very good voice and he makes it believable for me. Mm -hmm. So I like that about this ballad. It's a ballad I can really get behind. I enjoy listening to it. The lyrics are catchy. There's a hook to it. Even up against the wall, our love is untouchable. That gets stuck in my head, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like the way he's singing it is sort of melancholy. Like, he's almost willing it to be that way. Like, come on, nothing's gonna stop us. Okay, it sounds like a song about hardships and like, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, you know? And there's something a, bit, a little bit longing about the way he sings it. So, mm -hmm. I like that. I like this ballad. Mm -hmm. It's a power ballad. Yeah. My word was pretty. Um, because I do think it's a little bit on the sort of, like, not bad but boring side, but it is a lot better than a lot of other songs. Mainly because, for me, this song has the one thing that so many songs of this year are missing. It has some, like, it's dynamic. It yes. changes, it builds, and, like, it, it slows down, and there's a distinguishable bridge. The verse is different from the chorus. Like, I really like that. It's, it's... It definitely feels like you go on a journey for three minutes when you listen to this, you know? Because yeah. it's telling a story not only through the lyrics, which I usually don't really hear or listen to lyrics, but just the music itself. It's like a musical journey for three minutes and it's cohesive, even though it's so different. The different the, the parts of the song are so different, it still like feels like one thing, yeah, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And I really like that. It's a, it's a very, very well put together song. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about honestly is just that we don't have any live version to go on, at least mm -hmm. I didn't find one, and he looks so young, we just have a picture of him in the mm -hmm. official video. I mean, is he gonna be able to pull this off? Is his voice as good live, you mm -hmm. know? Is he 16 years old? So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm slightly worried about that, slightly mm -hmm. worried about the staging, but if they do it well I think the song could go far, mm -hmm. for sure. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing in the staging, I'm seeing a lot of stars in the background, like a lot of spacey theme, uh, big like pants with the camera sort of floating around the whole arena, that kind of thing, um, I think would do uh, a lot to make the song lift. But definitely, as you say, it's a little bit of a wild card. I think it's it, it could go far, um, not necessarily win, but I, I think it could go pretty far with the right staging and if he pulls it off live. but. It is hard to tell, especially since the music video isn't actually a video, but just like a picture. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and give a score? Yes. Uh, one, one, two, two three, three, seven. Yeah, eight. I went out on a limb a little bit on that one, but I do mm -hmm. really like it, so it feels like mm -hmm. an eight to me. Yeah, I, I feel like I'll de definitely listen to this some more before uh, the contest, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Happy listening!